there's a device that I've been using called a Whoop. Hello, and welcome back to iGal4. It's time for weekly challenge number 10, the Fractal Engineering Elevated Cube. I'm in-house reporter Dan, and I don't typically do the introduction as you've seen, but I woke up this morning and I looked for Skittles and all the other Dans, and everyone seems to have disappeared, and the house is totally in a state of disarray. So, um, I'm sure this everything is fine. will be fine. I'm okay but, uh, with the events that are Yeah, I figured you guys need to know about this week's challenge. So, I'll be the one explaining to you the three combos that we have as requirements on this week's featured obstacle, the elevated queue. And um, hopefully I'll be able to edit in Callisto's example uh, FPV view somewhere around here. Yeah, it'll be fine. First, let's talk about this week's featured sponsor, Fractal Engineering. This week's featured sponsor is Fractal Engineering. You can shop for their great products at store.fractalengineering.net. Links in the description below. The Fractal 65 and 75 are some of the most popular frame options for iGal because they're so durable and robust. You can get yourself a frame kit or a bind and fly from the Fractal Engineering shop. The Wingman is an awesome 1S build that has foldable arms and flies for over 20 minutes on an 18650. I have one and it's super fun. And of course, the Whoop Juice Chancer Station is the original Fractal Engineering product, allows you to charge your 1S batteries with a typical balance charger. Hello everyone, it's in-house correspondent slash editor Dan here, and uh, when I was putting together this video, I found this clip from Skittles that I think regular editor Dan was supposed to include in last week's challenge, but just forgot. Anyway, let's roll this and then get back to this week's challenge requirements. It's the second half of the regular season this year. If you haven't studied the schedule yet, we have 17 regular season weeks, and then the playoffs start in week 18, then we have to be down to 16 pilots by then. We still have two 300 pilots left, plus over 100 clean slates. So the game's gonna have to kick into a new mode now. So I've been thinking of a couple names of what to call it. Uh, in the past, we've referred to it as High Gow or Hard Eye Gow. Uh, I kind of like the ring of No More Mr. Nice Gow. Um, maybe Strict Gow is a good description. Anyway, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get a lot more strict on all the rules and there's going to be no more exceptions, especially for video submissions. In the past, if you had your video on YouTube and you posted it in the Discord well ahead of time and somehow you forgot or the Google form didn't work and your video didn't end up on the official list, uh, we've accepted it late. But that is definitely not going to be accepted anymore. The Google form is going to close at the designated closing time and if you didn't get your video in by then, uh, sorry, then that's no longer a valid excuse. Excuse. No excuses, only letters. Right? I wore the shirt on purpose. Anyway, when you submit your form and you do it properly, you will get an email confirmation sent back to you. It might go in your spam, check there, but make sure you get that email confirmation. Because if your video doesn't end up on the main list and you don't have an email confirmation saying you definitely submitted it, then there's no more excuses on that front. And we're also going to be getting more strict on the judging. So make sure before attempting your challenges that you fully understand all the steps and especially the judging points, which we're going to be trying to put in. So the challenges are going to be becoming more complicated and have multiple elements and you need to make sure that you understand it fully. You, have, you yourself are responsible for reading the description below this video. That's going to have the best description, best fullest description of all the requirements that you need, and it'll be down below each video. Of course, all the Dans are gonna do some examples and they're gonna try to explain it to you as best they can, but just because they left something out or they didn't explain something fully by speaking it out or demonstrating it, you must, if it is in the description below, then it is definitely part of the challenge.
now let's get into the requirements for weekly challenge number 10, the Fractal Engineering Elevated Cube. So basically what you need is a cube gate and then you need to elevate it up one cube space. So basically a double stack cube will work. Uh, you could hang your cube from strings like I have if you want to. Just make sure that it's a maximum of one cube space above the ground. Or hopefully I have a picture of a more traditional PVC cube gate here now. And you just need your cube gate on top and then four legs going down. You don't have to have a full cube built on the bottom. Just the elevated cube gate and then raised up one cube space uh, by the legs. All right, so now let's get into the individual requirements. There are three requirements like uh, we typically have, and those three requirements are gonna be three different combos that you must perform on the elevated cube. You can have each of the three requirements in a different clip, but each of the individual requirements must be done in order, all in one clip, with no bumps or ground taps, no failed attempts, and no extra tricks in between. So the first requirement is the loopy cube combo. Uh, we've got our trusty example boop here, and we've got our example elevated cube. You can fly at the cube in any direction that you want, uh, starting with whichever face you want, and that is gonna be referred to as your front face. Uh, for demonstration purposes, this face here is our front face and our front gate, and then this back face um, parallel to it and across the cube, we're gonna refer to as the back gate. All right, so for the loopy cube uh, combo, you're gonna start by flying at the cube forward, and you're gonna do a power loop of the front gate only. So you fly through the front gate, you loop up and out the top of the cube, and then complete the power loop by flying through the front gate again and continue through the entire cube, through the back gate, this time performing a power loop of the entire cube all the way back over and back through the front gate and the back gate, which starts your third loop, which is of the back gate only. So then you're gonna loop up and go drop back in the top of the cube and finish by going through the back gate, performing uh, your final loop of the back gate only. So again, that's, you start here, you fly through the front gate and up and out, do a power loop of the front gate, then through the entire loop cube, power looping the entire cube, and then finish by doing a loop of the back gate. Two of your three loops must have constant loop motion for you to pass this challenge. Requirement number two, we're referring to as the eject roll combo. So this requirement has two basic elements and they're both kind of complicated, so let's go over them now. Of course, you have to do them with all the fun jazz we always put in there. Same clip, in order, no bumps, no ground taps, etc., etc. Read the description below, it has all this fine print. All right, so you have to fly first, fly forward through the front face or front gate of the cube and you can make whichever one you want to be your front gate again and then the opposite one's the back gate. So you fly forward through the front gate and then you pop out the top of the cube and perform a Matty flip of the back gate. So over the top of the back gate, front flip motion and then backward through the front gate and then as you're flying backward through the cube, you switch to power loop motion, kind of in the back flip out the front gate and then come completing the loop by flying underneath the cube and now you're going into the eject roll so you're gonna fly up vertically through the bottom face and then the top face of the cube ejecting yourself out of the cube and then you're gonna want to look down with the front flip or back flip motion that doesn't matter look down at the top of the cube and perform a 360 degree roll as you dive back down before you get into the top gate and then dive through the cube, out the bottom gate, and fly away. Uh, make sure that you show yourself flying away cleanly with no bumps or ground taps. All right, let's go over that one more time and go over the points we'll be looking for uh, when judging. So again, flying forward, and then you're gonna <clears throat> go through the front face, pop out the top, Maddie flip of the back gate. Your Maddie flip must have mostly constant loop motion doesn't have to be totally perfect, but you can't do a full catch or a drift forward. You gotta come backwards through the cube with the Maddie flip motion, 
and then before you get outside of the front gate, you have to switch the power loop motion. So you can't just Matty flip all the way through the cube and then switch the power loop way outside here. That has to happen before you go out the front gate. So you're Matty flipping, and then you back flip into power loop motion. Then you need to come and go underneath the front uh, face to complete your power loop, and then fly up through the cube vertically and eject yourself out the top for the eject roll. And then you need to look down at the top face of the cube. Again, you could do that front flip or back flip. That's up to you. But then once you're looking down at the top, you must perform a 360 degree roll. Uh, we're giving the range of 270 to 540. So you don't have to be perfect. There's a pretty big range there. You have to complete the 270 to 540 before you come back in the top of the cube and then dive down through the bottom of the cube and then fly out and fly away. And it doesn't matter which direction you fly out of the cube. It doesn't have to be opposite how you come in. You can come back out the same way or out one of the 90 degree sides. That is up to you. You just have to make sure that you show yourself flying away cleanly uh, with no bumps or ground caps. Don't do a quick cut. Requirement number three is referred to as the loop to Matty combo. So the loop to Matty motion, where you kind of start a power loop and then switch into a Matty flip, I've seen in a bunch of freestyle videos, and it kind of inspired this entire challenge. And then Callisto put his own flavor on it and really ramped up the difficulty. So if you think this is really crazy, hashtag blame Callisto. Anyway, the loop to Matty combo for requirement number three has three elements. You have to do them all in one clip, no bumps, no ground taps, etc., etc., all that good stuff. And you can start with any face of the cube, just the first one you fly through establishes your front face and the opposite's the back face, just like all the combos. Alright, so the first element of requirement number three is like a maverick loop with a front flip, which is basically like a front power flip. Anyway, you're going to do that in this uh, type of motion here. Start by flying through the front face of the cube and then all the way through the cube and out the back face. Then you're gonna lean back and kind of toss yourself backward, basically maverick loop motion, so that you will fall through the top of the cube and come out the front face. That's the trajectory you want. And while you're doing that motion, you perform a full front flip. So once you've done that first element, then you're gonna be looking again at the cube forward, and you're gonna fly underneath the cube this time, underneath the front face and the back face, and start a power loop like you're gonna loop the entire back face of the cube. But once you are once you see the top of the cube uh, from the top, you can switch into your Matty motion. So it's the loop to Matty, right? And then you're again gonna fall into the top cube and come out the front face with that uh, loop switching to Matty motion. After you perform that, the final element is a juicy flick or a snapback of the cube, but you have to, you must do it where you fly through the cube and then you start your half front flip or back flip while you're in the cube, pop out, and then perform the half roll with the cube in your FPV view. All right, that might have been a little much, so let's go over it one more time. First element is the Maverick loop with a front flip. So again, fly forward through the entire cube. Lean back and toss yourself back in a trajectory that you'll fall through the top of the cube and out the front face and while doing that perform a full front flip. After you've done that fly forward underneath the front face and back face of the cube in a loop motion and then as you're looping once you can see the top of the cube then you can switch to a Matty motion and come through the top of the cube and out the front face again and finally perform a juicy flip or a snap back of the cube by flying through the cube, starting your half flip within the cube, and then finishing outside the cube with a roll, half roll that keeps the cube in your FPV view. All right, it's a lot of stuff, but make sure you read the description below. That should have everything laid out cleanly. All right, everyone, this one is going to be probably by far the most difficult challenge so far. I really will be impressed if we get more than 20 people or so that are able to complete all of the three requirements and if anyone can do them all in one clip bravo to you sir bravo you'll you'll get a special wow on the live stream
All right, everyone. Good luck and happy movie. Yeah, I'm fine. If F is for feeling overwhelmed and high is for I'm not all right. Yeah, I'm fine. If thin is for not being able to sleep for every night. Yeah, I'm fine. Finally feeling the pressure of keeping my feelings inside. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, maybe I'm not and I just need to tell someone I'm not all right.